again, we're going to stick with this image I did of uh, Salford Keys in uh, Manchester. It's a 30 second nighttime exposure. Uh, we're going to do some colour work on this. And uh, this is really how it looked on that night. Um, but if you want to take the colours to the extreme, I'm going to show you a very quick method. It won't take long, this. It won't take long to explain, hopefully. Of, uh, changing the colour quite dynamically and we're going to do that by channel swapping. Now what I mean by channel swapping means we're going to switch around all the values in the RG and the B channels uh, quite quickly uh, and to do that we need to go across to this little icon here which is your channel mixer option. option. If we just click on that, that's going to bring up your channel mixer. We can drag this out here and have a play around with it. Um, you can see here we've got the preset default, we're not going to use a preset, we're just going to look at the channels and the first one we want to go to is the red one, you can see there it's 100%, uh, we're just going to highlight that, or just highlight it and just press naught. So we're going to take that down to nothing, now straight away you can see there your channel mix, uh, the colours are going a bit crazy, I want you to put the green channel at 100. Okay, so we did the red channel, we've taken all the red out of it and made it into green. Okay, let's go to the green channel going to do the same thing again. <laughs> it's very simple this. Let's go down to naught. You see that's quite a crazy colour. And we're going to put 100 in the blue channel. So that's an interesting one as well. And then finally we're going to go down to the blue channel and take that one out. Naught. And you can see there it's looking really crazy at the moment. And go for 100. How about that then? Let's just move that away. If we can just uh, press on the eye, little thing here. Just click that on and click that off, or you can just go to this icon here, hold it backwards and forwards. I'm going to take this back over here and just locate it up to there, see where the blue line comes on, just release it, and it's going to go back into there again. You're probably thinking, um, what can I do with this? Well, let's just have a look at this, uh, the layers down here. Let's pull this out and have a look on here. We can play with the opacity. And you see there, straight away, as we swap the channels around, just in normal blend mode, you can blend things in. And if you really want to, you can actually change things to different blend modes. Play around, of course. Have a look at how that works. So it's a very quick and simple little me way of... Um, just drop that back in there again. Looking at your colour of your image, just using the uh, channel mixer, which is here, playing around with your channels. I mean, this doesn't stop you playing around once you've actually got that set up, and then have another play around in the in the uh, channels. Let's just uh, get back that, that back to normal. And you've got the ability then just to fine tune things and play around with this colour in here. And you've got the options of creating really crazy colour images just by swapping around your channels in your channel mixer uh, and playing around with your blend modes, of course, and then taking it a bit further, uh, playing with the opacity and uh, having a bit of fun while you're doing it. Okay, that's just a quick one. Uh, have fun with it. Uh, play uh, with your own images. Uh, don't forget to mess around with the sliders. Uh, you can always save this as a preset if you want to. Don't forget your flat menu here. You can save channel mixer preset. So if you've got a nice... Um, method you've got there which you want to save, save it as a preset, just click on it, it'll just call up a little dialog box, you can save it as what you want on title, let's just save that, and then it'll always be there for you to play with, okay, so you've saved it as a preset as well, okay, that's a quick one, uh, thanks for watching, uh, until next time of course, that's uh, bye for now.